guys welcome back to another video on my youtube channel so like i said in my previous video i am starting a series of book tutorials so of course i am going to start with my book and i am going to do a tutorial on the sakura water under not underwater over water so i already have a bookmarked and um this is the tutorial that we are going to work on today so let's just Get started. All right, so to go over the materials really quickly, like in the book, we have our arches of watercolor paper. You can have any watercolor paper, but make sure that it is 100% cotton. So then we have our opera ink, we have our indigo, then turquoise, and a little bit of white acrylic ready. And so these are the paints that I am using. For brushes, we have um, a Raphael, but it's uh, a soft brush. It is actually like squirrel hair, whatever, something like that. A synthetic like liner brush. It has, it says number four, but it's more like a number two maybe, or like a number one, just like a detail brush. And we have our filbert brush that is also natural hair. All the description to the materials the links to the materials are in the description below. So, of course, we have our Tostitos clean water. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I cut my paper because we all know paper is expensive and we don't want to waste any of it. So, let's just cut the paper. I typically don't use any tools for this and... This is what gives my paintings also like a little bit. I like the rough edges. You all know that. So let's just get started with this super quickly. I just don't want to bore you guys with like these smaller kind of steps. So just have your materials ready and basically cut the paper in four. And this is what we are going to work with. So like in the book, it's mostly, I, this is what I typically use to, to paint, like this kind of size, typically on um, portrait mode, really. I typically don't paint like this. So we're gonna go through the steps super quickly. Like I'm gonna show you the steps in the book and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do them. So basically we're going to wet the paper and then with the clean water, then add the turquoise. Then as the paper is still wet, we're going to dab some of the indigo. And it's very important to create like organic kind of edges. So we get this like organic kind of edge, basically. Then we are going to um, wait for that to dry. And then we're going to grab the filbert brush and we're going to start creating our petals um, that are going to be the cherry blossoms. Once that is dry, we're going to do or while that kind of dries, we are going to do the little branches and then after the branches we are going to do the details of the little flowers and that's it it really is four simple steps so this is what we are aiming for we have to remember that sakura kind of um has comes in bunches in little like pom-poms like little pom-pom bunches and then a few like straggly ones and then these are supposed to be like on the water um, so let's get started with the actual painting. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys a little bit closer and maybe this angle would be nice. All right. So we're going to grab this and we're going to grab our water. And we're just gonna wet the paper in a very kind of, I don't like to tape my paper. I really like to have the wet, the edges, the rough edges. And I'm trying to do this before it gets dark outside. So it really is super simple and fairly fast other than the drying time. So now we're gonna grab this. I might have to paint this in actually like two separate days because I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of natural light and I don't like to paint without natural light. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this with the, it's just turquoise. 
So we're just gonna go ahead, do this, do this. Now, just, I like how this came out right here. It looks really nice. And I like to keep kind of my edges like this, like really just very organic, I guess. Then we are going to grab the indigo and I'm just cleaning my brush. Very clean. And then I am going to grab my indigo and ideally it's like a very intense, like super high value indigo. So I'm just need enough water to dilute the indigo. And then I'm going to go ahead and coming from, from kind of the edges like this and drop, just dr dab a little bit of indigo. This creates really beautiful contrast and just kind of dab it. I might have a little bit too much water, so I'm going to do a little bit more indigo. And this is one of the tricks that I show in the book, which is um, one of the steps is this one where I just kind of um, drop the ink on the paper and just like it'll fall where it'll fall. And that's just kind of very magical. To me it's just kind of letting it letting it go it doesn't need to be special it doesn't need to be anything it'll be what it'll be you know so what i'm gonna do the exact same thing so maybe a different kind of angle so you guys can see what i'm doing maybe like this so i'm just kind of yeah i'm aiming kind of at the paper you know and then i'm just because i know there's a lot of water in here or like it's loaded i'm just gonna squeeze it I'm just kind of maybe from far because the farther away, the more splash. So I want splash. So I'm going to just do that. There. And maybe another one here. There. Oh, that's such a beautiful one. Oh, look, it's just like so perfect. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna leave it there. And what I just basically need to let this dry. It's gonna dry on its own. And let's see. I should just keep this open. <laughs> um, so what's going to happen is when it dries, it's going to create this contrast colors that that's what we want. So we're just gonna leave it to dry and hopefully that there will be enough light in my house when it's dry and I can go on to the next step. So if not, I'm gonna have to do this in two parts. So I'll see you guys when this is so completely all I really dry. have to do at this point is wait for this to dry to go and move on to the next step. And you all know that I don't like to use hair dryers or heat dryers or anything because it does something really weird to the paper that I don't like and to the colors. If I use a hair dryer, it's going to move the color around and I don't want to do that. And if I use a heat dryer, I have to then eventually wait for the paper to cool down in order for me to use the next paint or else it just does something really weird. I don't like it. I've never, I used it once and I didn't like it. So we're just going to wait and hope that there is light outside <laughs> and uh we'll move on to the next step okay okay so it seems like there's still some light and the paper is like 85 percent dry if not 90 percent dry i would say i have to be really careful with this area because it's still a little bit wet and i don't want to mess up that detail so i am going to grab my filbert brush and then this is my diluted ac acrylic and it just needs to be soft. It doesn't need to be super diluted. And yes, I know I'm using a watercolor brush for acrylic. So you can use gouache or you can use, I think there is white watercolor paint, but I never, I've never used it. So what I do is I use acrylic, but I clean my brush almost as soon as I'm done. 
so I don't ruin my brush. So see the consistency is just really soft. It just needs to be really soft, nothing too watery, nothing too blobby, I guess. So it's like a one to four ratio, I wanna say. Just a little bit of water and a lot of paint. So I'm just dousing the brush on the paint. And the trick to this is that now we are going to grab a the opera pink but just a tiny little bit of the tip of the brush in the opera pink so just a little bit like see how it's just a little bit just a little bit and we're gonna start drawing our petals painting how i should say that one came out so gorgeous look at that so gorgeous So we have to remember that cherry blossoms in general are white and with like a, a, a touch, I'm sorry, a touch of, of pink. And all I'm doing is just dabbing the, the, the little tip of my brush in the pink, just a tiny little bit. Because in general, they're white, really, the cherry blossoms. And I have to remember there's five petals, so I need to leave room for five petals and the they have a, a kind of a wide opening in the middle sorry again i just like i have my camera very close so i touch it with everything and then it just kind of jiggles so it jiggle jiggles i like the way it jiggle jiggle all right so that's nice and i'm gonna draw a uh, paint i keep saying draw a few more kind of around here um, because again, they grow in bunches. So again, just a little bit of indigo, I mean, opera pink. And just, uh, oh, that's so pretty. So I'm doing like side little bunches. And another one if you notice i haven't loaded my my white again because i just don't have to really just a little bit more pink i keep turning the paper around because i don't want to keep um bumping my brush with the camera but you guys don't have to move the paper around obviously I'm going to do a little one more here, like kind of a full one, if I can. I feel like I need a little bit more pink on this one. I mean, for not having painted in two months, you guys, I think I'm doing pretty good. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. I think that's great and what i like to do is just paint also i think i'm running out of white um paint some of the ones that are um just random like imagine like quote unquote some of some fell on on the water and so some some small petals just kind of floating around of like that and then i'm actually gonna load my white a little bit more but because i already have pink in here i'm gonna wash my brush and i'm gonna completely reload my white like start from scratch because i don't want to have a pink brush with a pink highlight i want white with a pink kind of highlight so again i'm gonna do I'm kind of running out of light. I'm going to have to do the ending of this tomorrow after work. But you guys will obviously will going to see it in in one one full video. So I'm going to imagine that the branch is going to come here. And then we're going to have a little, little branch that goes out this way. And another one kind of like that. I, I still don't know what my branches are going to do. But I like this high contrast right here. So I'm going to paint one right here. 
little bit too white. But that's okay. Like, you know, cherry blossoms are, are very white in general. All right, that looks cute. And another one. Let's do another one right here. Kind of trying to paint fast before the light goes out. Goes out. Um, that's fine. Oh, there's like a little blob right here. Okay, that's fine. A little bit more pink. Now I'm going to do a few like random little petals. Kind of. Also, um, cherry blossoms is a little bit too pink. Have have buds that haven't quite grown yet. Um, kind of around around the main bud, I want to say. So I like to paint little buds too. Just little, it's literally like, like little circles. Um, see how beautiful this is turning out? Oh, you guys. I'm kind of really proud of myself for like not painting for two months and then I'm painting this and it's kind of coming out really good. I mean, I'm gonna have to say that. Oh, so pretty. All right, um, sorry, I just kind of screamed there because I'm so excited. Um, so I, I'm sorry, I just added a little bit of white to just do a little bit of buds right here. Cutesy little little buds. Um, and we'll continue the next step in the next little part. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to do, you know what? No, let's do let's do the brushes just while this weight like well this dries we can we can definitely do the branches there is definitely enough light i'm just kind of afraid it's going to be not enough light but it's going to be fine it's going to be fine we're going to be fine it's going to be great so with a clean brush and and the and the small brush we're going to grab indigo like a high pigmented indigo and we're just going to pretend we have a branch coming from here and it's just the wiggly kind of line like that it's not nothing more than that it's just a wiggle line and then maybe we can have another wiggle line from here and it crosses through here and it does that yeah and then we can have another branch that does that and then, and then more indigo it's just like sakura is very or cherry blossoms i'm, I'm used to saying sakura because you all know like i lived in japan for like a couple of years like three years and uh, that was the first time that i saw sakura so i know them as sakuras but i'm not trying to be a little brat be like oh i lived in japan it's just i mean what am i gonna do i lived in japan Okay, and that one came out kind of weird a little bit. All right, a little bit more indigo. And then this is like a little bit of bud that like, so what, where where I'm leaving these um, little non-ended branches, I'm gonna eventually add a few more petals or a few more buds, because I don't like to see just branches hanging out. I don't know, maybe that's just me. That one kind of came out weird. I don't know. I need to fix it somehow. I was being, I was getting so proud of myself. I got, I got too ahead of myself. I was like, oh, I'm so proud. I'm doing so good. All right, not, not so much. I don't know what's going on here. That's okay. <laughs> this guy has definitely a branch. This guy also has a branch that comes out of somewhere. This guy needs to have a branch. All right, I hope there's still lighting. There's this guy. Ooh, okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. These are ones that are just kind of floating in in the water. So maybe let's do a little bit more like thick branch here. Okay, there's a problem. I, I like, I can't stop. But I'm just going to let it, let it go. Just let it go. Let it do its magical thing. It's going to dry. We might add a little bit more shadow onto these branches, um, but we'll see. All right, so welcome back to step three. Today is a new day, and I was not expecting this video to be so long. At this point, it's about 20 minutes or 
15 minutes or something so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to split the videos into like part one and part two and i'll upload them either like one day and then the next day so it gives you guys time to like practice or to like catch up on like the first part of the video and then you can move on to the second part instead of having like a 30 minute tutorial so let me know in the comments if you guys prefer for me to split it or just to watch one long 30 minute video i try to make my tutorials as simple and as fat not as fast but like concise as possible and simple steps but sometimes they run a little long because of the drying time because you know there's details and stuff so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to split the videos okay so let's just move on to step three which is sorry so which is um we're gonna add a little bit more uh white it's a little bit too pink right now i'm gonna add a little bit more white and pink petals kind of in the water and add a second layer to this um the branches they're looking a little bit too flat and the details in the flowers okay so let's just move on with that okay so now that we have our materials ready again um is the same kind of process where i have my white paint ideally like an acrylic or a gouache or if you have the white watercolor and we're gonna just do a tiny tiny little bit of opera pink and we're gonna fill in kind of where as if there were like petals floating little ones um just kind of filling the spaces a little bit more pink right here i'm oh, sorry let me maybe put in camera a little bit closer and we're just kind of painting little petals and also filling in where we left little branches So I am using the side of the brush and pushing to create this oval shapes, basically. So let me put a little closer even so you guys see. I'm not doing the flat part of the brush, but I'm doing the side of the brush. And just like kind of doing these. And it creates these cute little oval shapes. Okay. Uh, where else? I think I'm going to do a few more here. Bit more pink maybe that's kind of enough okay so we're just gonna I think this is enough petals and um let's uh let's add a little bit more detail to the branch because it's just looking a little bit too flat so i'm going to grab uh, this one's a little ruffled but if you add a little water it's nice so i'm going to use my indigo and uh just like very saturated or like a high value just very little water a lot of ink and let's just go in and Oh, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm missing kind of a few petals there. And just kind of go in again in the same kind of wiggly line, but only kind of do some edges. And this, this gives it the kind of the magical appearance, like it's a branch, you know? Like it gives it texture. Okay, that was the word I was looking for. Sorry. So it gives it texture and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like it just let, let kind of the brush like brush <laughs> touch the paper unevenly and and it'll look great there you go just a tiny little bit more here like, if you drink coffee or whatever, like, this one is great for you. It's just wiggly lines, really. All right, so those are my wiggly lines that um, 
that help bring texture to to my branches and now with the exact same brush or you can use opera pink or what i did actually for the book i did the same indigo and so let's just do what the book did so we're gonna add the details And a little bit more ink, and we're just gonna add this. Uh, I think they're called the pistols, and we'll just do this. There you go, perfect. And we technically only did two open flowers, oh, three actually. So let's just kind of go like this, and then it's super. The cherry blossoms are just um, very delicate, so there's not a whole bunch of pistols, really. So don't, I guess, don't overdo this detail, because or else it's going to look like a different flower. Okay. Maybe we'll add a little bit of, um, of pink a little later. Just like an extra little spa um, step. I think I'm going to add a little bit of pink. So I'm going to completely clean my brush. I'm going to grab my opera pink. And I'm just going to go over it, really. Like, add a few more just kind of lines. I think that looks cute. Just to give it a little bit more texture. That they don't the pistols don't look so lonely, I guess. That's what I'm trying to do. I think that looks cute. That looks really cute. All right. So that is the Sakura in water uh, tutorial. And I'll show you that this is what we did from the book. I guess what I did in the book was a little bit more white and less pink but I like the pink so you know we did the floating um petals we did the open flowers the side little pompon flowers the little pistol details the branches so in general like I think it came out great maybe this one came out so good um maybe a little bit more flowers maybe smaller um, you guys can, of course, absolutely just play with it and give it a couple of tries. And that is all. All right, guys, that is all for today. And if you made it this far, don't forget to put in the comments if you prefer to have a part one and part two, or if you want one whole video. So I will continue to do my tutorial series, my uh, book tutorial series in the next couple videos and remember that I am changing the format of my YouTube a little bit where I have a video tutorial on painting and then somewhere in the middle of the week I have like a little vlog of how the week is going and what other things are happening. Don't forget to check out my Etsy store and the, the link is in the description below and of course give it a thumbs up, share, comment, like, uh, what else do you do? Subscribe. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.